Over the course of this program, many people have said the bottom line with the first tee is for the kids to have fun with the game of golf. The kids at the first tee of Michigan take that to heart. Welcome to the first tee of Michigan! Your flexible fingers. Very flexible. A unique program in Michigan allows the fun to extend to kids with true handicaps. Overcoming obstacles in life. It's an underlying theme for the first tee. And there is no better example than that of 19-year-old Serge Gosegu of the first tee of Phoenix. Here's his incredible story. When I was 10 years old, my parents, my brothers, and I were scheduled to be executed by the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We were a victim of the ethnic cleansing by the Congolese government because our father, Anaklai, was of Tutsi descent. He was the first to be imprisoned. And when they, you know, they came and picked him up, you know, all we had to think was, you know, it was that was the last day we were going to see each other. But for a month, we feared the worst, not knowing the whereabouts of our father. We finally reunited when we all were forced into the same concentration camp in Lubumbashi, Africa. We were among 500 refugees who were secretly held hostage in an abandoned convent. We live in constant fear, awaiting the day they will be called to our death. It was obvious because people were getting killed, burned. We were just thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to, you know, are we the next one to be getting picked up to go, you know, actually get killed? It was really a bad scene and uh, really don't want to live through it again. Then one day a neighbor heard the rumblings that people were alive in an abandoned building. She contacted a priest who alerted the Red Cross. Finally, after 12 months of internment, the Red Cross was able to exile us to Benin, Africa. On February 28th of 2000, Serge and his family were liberated. Even when we were in the planes, we just thought maybe we were getting transferred some, somewhere else. And for all it was worth, it was, you know, it was really, really, you know, mind-blowing, as you can say. In March of 2000, Serge, his brothers Jacques and Patrick, and their parents arrived in Phoenix to start a new life. When we got here, you can imagine, you know, you can't say anything, can't read anything. You, you know, with the little English and the little dictionary that you carry around and kind of go by day by day, but it was really hard, but, you know, you had to do it. In stepped Tim Cloney, who helped the family celebrate their first Christmas in Phoenix. The boys took off to the table and start playing. It was a great experience meeting them and knew we'd have them in our lives for a long time. Mr. Tim is the kind of person that I kind of look at him like as a gift from God because we all came from a uh, from a bad country. We came here, we, needed, we didn't know anything, and he just came into our lives. Mr. Tim would befriend the boys and thought it would be a neat idea to bring them to the first tee. I didn't know what a golf course was then because I never seen one. So we got some putters and some balls and they start putting and they were so excited they ran after the ball after they hit it because all they, the only sport they played was soccer okay so I mean they just reacted to that. To get across the range and uh, studying the balls and kind of you know kind of thought that was fun you just had to whack a ball every now and then and it was really really great. The first day to me was to me more like a refuge you know to me to unwind and not think about it. It was so peaceful down here, you know, everything was great, and, and you know, it's a great place to hang out. A refuge, peaceful, places and feelings that Serge and his brothers never thought they would see and sense again. They can handle a lot of things, but they can tell a lot of times where they're, you know, a little confused with our culture and stuff like that. And the first tee just makes them understand that they really are pretty strong kids and they can do it. So. <coughs> <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. All right, your shot, Serge. You haven't shot it in that. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing that impresses me most about Serge and Jacques and Patrick is the, the perseverance that they've shown, you know, in the time that I've known them. 
just trying to matriculate into the, you know, to our culture and our society and the way they're able to carry themselves now day to day, I think is it's probably been the biggest, you know, factor, the biggest thing that they've taken away from the program. Whether you know it or not, you've actually developed some consistency in that pre-shot routine. Today, Serge mentors his brothers and other young golfers on the finer points of the game. Okay, and then keep your head down the next time, okay? It's just something I, I guess I can give back. To me, it's, it's something, you know, something I feel more like a responsibility to do. Giving back. It's a kind gesture from a kid who has dealt a tough hand his first 14 years of life. And for Serge, giving back will no doubt extend far beyond the golf course. I'm hoping to get into med school. I just want to go as far as I can and uh, give back to, obviously, back home and do whoever needs help. Throughout the past hour, and indeed at more than 175 First Tee chapters, the same words and phrases keep coming up. Opportunity, perseverance, competition. We've seen that there are core values at work teaching life skills from Pebble Beach to the nation's capital. Pride, integrity, responsibility. They're a good fit on the golf course, and more important, in the real world, where confidence, honesty, and giving back will ultimately win the day. While stance and grip have their place, they're just a means to hope and a realization that dreams can come true. Golf, we've heard this past hour, is a game for life. And thanks in great part to the first tee, participants are already on their way to scoring big in the game of life. Their world, and ours, is better off because of it.